Okay, next up between the Whistler XTR 690 SC and the Beltronics RX 65, we're going to do a little LiDAR test here with uh, uh, laser falses. This stretch of road that I'm going to go down uh, is known to have uh, uh, LiDAR falses uh, in the range of uh, 998 pulses per second to about 1010. Uh, my Whistler picks this up almost every time I drive through here, 99.5% uh, of the time. First up will be the Whistler as soon as this light changes. Okay, here we go. Finally got to that light. First up is the Whistler XTR 690 SE, detecting laser falses. Basically what we're doing here uh, for all intents and purposes is testing its LiDAR capabilities, detection capabilities. In this stretch of road, I almost always get uh, LiDAR falses down this stretch of road here that we're going. There's a lot of industrial stuff here, so that's probably the reason for that happening. So far, we're getting nothing. Usually, I get a hit or two by now. Oh, there we go. Uh, just got two hits of 997, 994, and 1010. So, three uh, false LiDAR hits right there in a row. Actually, I think it was 1004 PBS. I'll have to look. So, that's the Whistler. And we'll come back down the same runner road. Up there is a fourth one. 1,003 pulses per second. Okay, up this time is the uh, Beltronics RX-65, and we are going down the same stretch of road. I may pick up a uh, K-band falls here, but uh, laser should override it. So let's see what happens. I'm going to go about the same speed as I did uh, with the Whistler, which is about 40 miles an hour. So we'll see uh, what kind of hits it takes. Okay, there's the falls. Just ignore that. Okay, there's two. Okay, we got two laser hits in a row right there. Coming up to our stretch, uh, to the end of this uh, little stretch of road. Okay, and there you have it. I would have to say there that uh, probably the Whistler has the edge on that as far as sensitivity goes and of course the fact that it can identify the pulses per second rate uh, definitely makes a difference. Uh, but the uh, RX-65 did okay too, but uh, I would have to give the edge to the Whistler uh, in this category.